All right, here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to come up with a way to have something like an X-Wing follow a, let me go top side of you, follow a path and then have the X-Wing automatically bank into the turns without having to keyframe it. Now, let me show you this so I can give you a better example of what I'm talking about. All right, this right here, these X-Wings are obviously following a path, but whenever they turn to the left or turn to the right as far as banking or leaning, all of that is keyframed. I literally had to spend something like three hours trying to get the banking looking correct, and that's extremely time consuming. So I want to be able to do that with physics. So here's what I have come up with. And let me zoom in so I can give you a better idea of what I'm talking about. Go into wireframe. And essentially, I have this path right this path right here. And of course, the path is lined up with the center of the hole essentially. And instead of the X-wing actually following the path, I have this cube right here, which is actually um, what's following the path. And then I have this rigid body constraint. Now, the X-wing has to be a rigid body, which I have it set up as a rigid body. Set up, set up as active, and I control the dampening and stuff down here. Now, this rigid body constraint connects this X-wing to this cube, and the cube is following the path. Now, this rigid body constraint, it's basically a hinge constraint. And hinge constraints, they only rotate on along the Z-axis, which you can see the the z-axis is going straight down the hole of the ship. Now, the question is, how would I make that, make the x-wing rotate around that hinge so that it banks in the corners? Okay, this was my thought, and it actually worked out much, much better than I thought it was going to. The center of origin for the ship, for the x-wing, let me go at it side view or front view. <clears throat> it's actually right down here. And the reason it's down here is because I want the bulk of the weight of the ship to be along the bottom right here. And it's actually a little, I have it up forward a little bit, but I'll tell you the reason behind that in a minute. But essentially, if the ship weighs more down here then and the pivot point is up here that means centripetal force will pull the ship pull the bottom of the ship essentially this way or that way and essentially make the ship bank now I run into a little issue whenever I was doing that and that's one reason why I had the center of origin point way up here and that's because as the, let me go top view, top side view, as the ship would get to a curve, the, the ship would have to start going around the curve a little bit before the ship would start to sway to the left or sway to the right, you know. And that's because centripetal force didn't kick in right away. So if I put the origin point further out in front, that means the origin point is leading the ship and the origin point hits the curve slightly before the ship does which in turn uh, gives it a little lead time so that it could start banking ever so slightly before the ship actually gets to the curve all right now let me show you how well this works all right 
if I press play, and again, remember the banking on this is all physics based. So it will set up a cache file for the banking, but it's much, much easier than going through and keyframing it. Click play, and you can sit banking into the curves, and it's doing all automatically. The sharper the turn, the sharper the bank will be. It worked out much better than I thought it would. It still has a little bit of, it, it's still off a little bit. It, some of these settings are going to have to be tweaked. <clears throat> and the one that's probably the, um, that has to be adjusted the most often is this uh, dampening feature for the rotation. Like if I was to set this to 0.5, watch how weird it acts then. It's essentially, see it kind of waffle back and forth. That right there does not look natural. You want it to kind of bank and stay there. You want the translations to be slow. Because I mean, if you, watch, if you watch a plane fly, the translations in banking are relatively slow. That is, unless you're watching like the, that Red Bull air race. But see, yeah, see that, now that part definitely does not look right. So you definitely had to have quite a bit of dampening for the rotation. 0.95 seems to be what works. Now to the point of why I wanted to do this. Suppose I want to change this curve. Let me check, select the curve, press tab, grab one of these points, grab bring it over here, grab this one, bring it right here, grab this one, bring it right here. Now, if I was to press play again, it dynamically changes according to the changes I just made. I don't have to go through and re-keyframe anything. It just, it's just automatic, and that's just so much simpler. Especially when you're, when you're talking like with that, uh, with this animation, it took me three hours just to keyframe that. But yeah. But anyway, that's just what I'm up to right now. Just kind of messing around with it, trying to find better ways to do this. But if anyone has any questions about this or whatever, let me know, and I will try my best to answer. I guess that's it. Later, people.